All right, moving on to Russia now, where Russian Prime Minister is all set to hold talks with Chinese Premier Li Xiang in Beijing. The two countries have ramped up economic and diplomatic cooperation in recent years. Ties have grown closer since Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Now, despite Beijing's insistence, it is neutral in the conflict. Now, according to the government of Russia, the Prime Minister was greeted upon arrival by Chinese Deputy Foreign Minister, Chinese Ambassador to Russia and Russian Ambassador to China. Now, the Chinese Foreign Ministry said that the Prime Minister's visit is a part of a series of regular meetings with his counterpart, Li Xiang. The Russian traveled to Shanghai and Beijing in May, where he met President Xi Jinping and signed a series of trade deals. His return to China comes two months after President Putin made a rare trip outside Russia to meet Xi Jinping and a month after a senior Chinese general was hosted in Moscow. The China-Russia relationship has seen major shifts since 1992. At the outset, China's population was greater than Russia's and the two nations had very similar level of total GDP. These days, China's economy is estimated to be up to 10 times bigger than Russia's. Similarly, trade with Russia is not of major importance to China in terms of value. However, the high share of raw materials, including food in Russian exports, and the transfer of Russian military technology are of strategic importance to China. Since 2012, when Xi Jinping was first made General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, the relationship has evolved in the face of what both nations consider a rising threat from the West to their regimes. Analysts say Beijing's response to Ukraine war, referred to as pro-Russia neutrality, has so far been much closer to Moscow than it was in the year 2014, when Crimea was annexed. At the same time, developments since Russia's invasion of Ukraine in 2022 have increased Russia's dependency on China.